In this video, we'll be taking a look at three NBA games happening on February 10, 2023, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three NBA games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best bet single picks, best bet parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Minnesota Timberwolves vs. Memphis Grizzlies The Minnesota Timberwolves travel to Tennessee to take on the Memphis Grizzlies as both teams vie for playoff seeding. The teams last faced off at the end of January where the Timberwolves were able to come away with an 11-point victory. The Timberwolves are 9-4 against the spread in their last 13 games overall. The Grizzlies are 37-16-1 against the spread in their last 54 home games and 3-8 against the spread in their last 11 games overall. The over is 3-0-1 in Timberwolves last four overall. The under is 9 to 1 in Grizzlies last 10 overall. The Timberwolves are 7 to 20 against the spread in the last 27 meetings in Memphis and 9 to 19 against the spread in the last 28 meetings. The Timberwolves could be shorthanded again as Ruddy Gobert, Mike Conley and Kyle Anderson are all questionable. The Grizzlies are still missing Steven Adams and Luke Kennard could make his debut for his new team. The Timberwolves will be without their usual starting lineup and will have to work in either limited or no chemistry players into the mix. Memphis is looking to put their winning drought behind them and will have a near full complement of players. Memphis should also be able to control the glass and the paint in this one and I expect the Grizzlies to generate a high amount of second chance points in their one. Minnesota has also had trouble with ball security of late and the Grizzlies defense has proven they can capitalize on turnovers. The Minnesota Timberwolves have a new look roster they have to figure out and this is just a tough spot on the road. The Memphis Grizzlies are arguably the best home team in the league where they win by an average of 10 points and are also 16 to 10 to 1 against the spread. The Timberwolves enter this game with a lot of roster question marks, so the Memphis Grizzlies to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Both of these teams are in the top six in terms of possessions per game and I expect this game to be nothing different. Both of these teams have been strong inside and the Timberwolves are among the best in the league in two-point shooting. Both of these defenses are also keen on takeaways and have done well turning those steals and fast break points while neither defense has been strong in transition. Memphis is also top five in the league in field goal attempt rate and their defense has ranked in the bottom five in that same category. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Cleveland Cavaliers vs. New Orleans Pelicans This Friday, the Cleveland Cavaliers will travel to New Orleans to take on the New Orleans Pelicans. Tip-off will be inside the Smoothie King Center. This will be the second meeting between these two teams this regular season, as the Cavaliers won the last matchup, 113-103. The Cavs are coming into this one after defeating the Detroit Pistons, 113-85. They looked incredible on the defensive end of the court, as they will have to stay aggressive in this one if they want to take down the the Pelicans on the road. The New Orleans Pelicans are entering this game after taking down the Atlanta Hawks, 116 to 107. They were great on the offensive end of the court, as they will have to stay hot in this one if they want to pick up a win against the Cavs at home. Looking at the betting trends, the Cavaliers are 5 to 2 against the spread in their last 7 games against a team with a winning record and 4 to 0 against the spread in their last 4 games overall. The Pelicans are 1 to 4 against the spread in their last 5 games against a team with a winning record and 1 to 5 against the spread in their last six games against a team above .600. Head-to-head, -head, the over is 9-2 in the last 11 meetings in New Orleans. The Cavaliers are 1-7 against the spread in the last eight meetings in New Orleans, and the Cavaliers are 4-9 against the spread in the last 13 meetings overall. The Cavaliers are coming into this meeting pretty much at full health as a team while the Pelicans are still missing Zion Williamson and Dyson Daniels. New Orleans has gotten Ingram back healthy and has started playing better since then, rallying off three straight wins. Although the Cavaliers have been hot as of late, Cleveland has not played well on the road. Cleveland is 11-15-2 against the spread on the road, while the Pelicans are 17-12 against the spread at home. New Orleans will be able to use limit the offense of Mobley and Allen as the Pelicans have Valance Muniz down low who can stop the easy baskets. Meanwhile, the Cavs may be without Garland 
and Mitchell, which are massive losses for their backcourt and overall offense. The Cavaliers have been building nicely with seven wins in their last ten outings, and they made it look easy in their big win over the Pistons on Wednesday. But the Pelicans are a team on the rise with three wins in a row, and they are more than capable of taking down the Cavaliers if Ingram can get hot again. So the New Orleans Pelicans to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. Cleveland has one of the best defenses in the league while the Cavs are dealing with some key injuries which will impact their offense. This season, Cleveland is 32-25 in hitting the under which is second best and on the road the Cavs are 11-17 in hitting the under. New Orleans, meanwhile, is 31-25 in hitting the over this season, but the offense has taken a step back without Williamson. And at home, the Pelicans are 16-13 in hitting the under. New Orleans, as well, plays at a pace of 101.3 which ranks 15th while their offensive efficiency he ranks 15th as the Pelicans are middle of the pack. Cleveland, meanwhile, plays at a pace of 97.9 which is the slowest in the NBA and the Cavs have the best defensive efficiency in the NBA. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Oklahoma City Thunder vs. Portland Trail Blazers The Oklahoma City Thunder will travel to the Moda Center on Friday night to take on the Portland Trail Blazers in a Western Conference matchup. The Thunder are 12th in the West with a 26-28 record and are coming off a 133-130 road win on Tuesday against the Los Angeles Lakers. The Trail Blazers are 10th in the East with a 27-28 record and are coming off a 125-122 home win on Wednesday against the Golden State Warriors. These teams are facing off for the third of four games against one another with Oklahoma City winning the first two games. Looking at the betting trends, the Thunder are 43-21-1 against the spread in their last 65 road games, 4-1 against the spread in their last five games against a team with a losing record, and 11-4-1 against the spread in their last 16 games overall. The Trail Blazers are 0-3-1 against the spread in their last four home games, and 4-13-1 against the spread in their last 18 games playing on one day's rest. Head-to-head, -head, the under is 6-2 in the last eight meetings overall. The Thunder are 4-1 against the spread in the last five meetings in Portland, and the Thunder are 6-0 against the spread in the last six meetings overall. The Thunder are again shorthanded as Lugans Dort is still out, while the Trail Blazers are still missing Joseph Nurkic and Justice Winslow, while Cam Reddish and Mattis Thibel are both questionable to debut for their new teams. The Portland Trail Blazers are getting the benefit of the doubt at home, but they've underachieved all year, and they're hard to trust in the favorite role. The Oklahoma City Thunder continue to be a feisty team that thrives in the underdog role and only loses by an average of half a point as an underdog. The Thunder have been building some good momentum lately and they would have loved spoiling the Lakers party on Tuesday night, but the Trail Blazers are also playing some good basketball and they just snuck past the Warriors. It's hard to split these two squads at the moment, but the Thunder are 6-0 against the spread in the last six meetings overall and I believe that trend continues here as they pull off the minor upset on the road. Plus Oklahoma City is 33-20-1 against the spread on the year, so the Oklahoma City Thunder to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. These defenses have been brutal throughout the season as Oklahoma City is allowing 131 points in their last three games while Portland is giving up 123 and a half points in their previous four games. These teams have been shooting incredibly well from beyond the arc this season as the Thunder are sixth in the NBA with a 37.43 point percentage so far while the Trail Blazers are tenth in the league with a 36.6 percentage from beyond the arc thus far. Both teams should score the ball without much hesitation. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.